Hi everyone and welcome back to the Career Discovery Sessions, where each week we're going to be interviewing a different professional in a different field. This week we have an international guest who is the Head of Global Marketing at Impulsion, Emil Tenov, who will speak about the growing field of marketing that I'm sure many of you will be interested to know about. So hello everybody, um, my name is Emil Tenov, um, I'm Bulgarian, I'm um, almost 53 years old. Uh, and I live in uh, Vienna, in Austria. Um, most of my uh, professional career, I have worked um, in uh, marketing and strategy. Um, I've been the um, um, marketing manager for one of Bulgaria's biggest uh, cigarette companies. So um, I was one of the bad guys. I was marketing cigarettes. I never smoked, by the way. And I don't recommend to anybody to smoke. Um, then I uh, went uh, to France. I did my uh, MBA um, at uh, INSEAD there. Uh, after finishing my MBA, I came to Vienna to work for uh, Philips Electronics. Uh, and uh, I was working in the Department of Domestic Appliances and Personal Care. Initially, we were responsible for Central and Eastern Europe, and then uh, we actually became responsible for the uh, Europe, Middle East, and uh, Africa region. Um, then uh, I worked for uh, um, about a year at uh, uh, Zurich Insurance uh, as uh, uh, responsible for market exploration and uh, uh, business intelligence in Eastern Europe. Um, after that, I worked for seven years uh, for um, uh, OMV, uh, which is the biggest Austrian company. It's an oil and gas company. Uh, I was the marketing manager for um, um, lubricants. So uh, this means uh, uh, industrial lubricants, but also uh, um, automotive lubricants. So it's a kind of a mix between uh, B2B and B2C business. Then our company was uh, sold. I went, um, I mean, not the whole company, the department was sold. Uh, I went uh, to work um, in uh, consulting. I have my own consulting company and um, also uh, I'm teaching. So uh, I've been teaching for uh, like four or five different universities. I still continue to teach, by the way. Um, I'm currently teaching at uh, Webster University, FH Krems, uh, and um, FH Dean, uh, which are all located in Austria. Um, and since 2019, I've been the uh, um, head of global marketing for a young Austrian company, which has been rapidly growing. Um, it's called Impulsion. And um, what we actually do is uh, we produ produce uh, satellite thrusters. So basically, we make um, engines for satellites. Uh, extremely exciting uh, work because actually, you can see stuff that is going into space. You're not allowed to touch it because it has to be uh, sterile, but uh, you can see it. Uh, we have um, sold more than 150 thrusters and um, about 60 of them are in space at the moment. So when you see the next launch of a rocket uh, in space, uh, there is a very high probability that it carries some of our products. How did you decide that marketing was your field? It has to do with the period, uh, the period in which we lived. So I started studying uh, English language and literature. My ambition always was uh, to write, to become a journalist. And then in 1991, this was the period when uh, the big transition happened in Bulgaria. So that was a transition between mark uh, from, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a state uh, centralized economy to a market economy. Our country and the world in principle did not need more, um, let's say, philologists. Uh, we needed more uh, people to uh, explain how to, how to actually sell products and how to market products. And uh, this is why actually it's also a bit of a chance because um, when the American University in, Bo in Bulgaria, which is located in uh, my hometown in Blagojevgrad, um, actually started uh, operating, I was one of the people who were working in the development office. So I was made an offer to join and we were one of the first couple of people to work at all for the university. 
I was the guy who organized the first exams, for example. I decided to transfer from uh, English language and literature uh, to AUBG, the American University in Bulgaria. And I studied business administration there, studying full-time at uh, the AUBG and part-time in the Sofia University. So I graduated also, I have my uh, master in uh, English language and literature. And what happened after that, uh, I actually got a scholarship uh, from Blagojevgrad BT, which is the biggest company within uh, uh, Bulgartabak. Uh, stayed there for five years. In that period, uh, we managed to grow uh, several brands. By the way, um, these brands are still on the market. I launched uh, the brand uh, GD Lights, which is a very strong brand. Um, I'm quite proud of it. Now it's the property of British American Tobacco. Um, I worked on the brands uh, Melnik, uh, Victory, several, several other. So um, I'm interested in how things come together. And this is exactly what marketing does in a company. You can think of marketing as the blood that in, in a body. Uh, say the blood is the thing that makes things circulate. Can you tell us what else marketing is? Well, the funny thing is that uh, most, uh, even the, the big names like Kotler and uh, so on, they, they, they do not quite agree. I mean, everybody has their own uh, kind of definition of marketing. And that, that's the cool thing about it, because marketing is what you want it to be. Uh, let's say uh, some companies uh, are moving now from the direction of having a CMO, which is chief marketing officer, into CCO, chief customer officer, uh, because they think, okay, cust the customer is the the chief unit that 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 makes us uh, move and that we have to concentrate and so on of course customer management one can argue is still part of marketing not the whole marketing um and th there is a good definition that i actually quite like that uh, marketing is actually any activity in a company that creates added value to a product mm -hmm. so in other words after you after you create uh, the product, but also the, the very, the, the very uh, let's say, uh, creation uh, uh, of the product also has marketing ingredients in it, which is market research. You have to know what to do. You have to know what kind of product to develop. So, so indeed, uh, marketing is this type of activity. So for different companies, it can mean different things. Like, for example, if you're a direct sales co uh, company, um, you invest more in the sales channels. Uh, if you are a company like Apple, you invest more uh, maybe into design or into branding. So do you think the knowing the allocation of what you should market or what aspects of marketing is something that you learned through textbooks or is it very much practical? <clears throat> it's a good question because it's kind of personal. You know, the, the thing is, marketing is one of the things that everybody thinks they can do. It's one of these functions like, uh, oh, yeah, it's like just boiling an egg. Yeah, it's, it's common sense. And the funny thing is, 90% of it, it is common sense. It is common sense. I mean, if you don't have common sense, you'll never make a good market. That's clear. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the real difference is made by this 10, 15%, which is knowledge. And marketing is a real science. I mean, do not underestimate it. It's, it's, it's a real science. So you have to read a lot. And uh, of course, it's also experience. So uh, let's say in Bulgaria in the 1990s, there was not, I mean, we were just st starting with a clean slate. There was no marketing before that. We could not learn from the others. There was not even a literature that you could uh, uh, read. You could not go to congresses and uh, discuss with others. There was no internet in that sense. So, so the, the thing is that actually uh, we have to learn on the fly. And yes, yeah, sometimes you make mistakes. The key thing is not to repeat the same mistake, you know, and you have to learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sometimes we've made mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But uh, if your successes are much more than, than uh, your mistakes, then you're on the right track. Great. And can you speak about the day to day? Uh, activities of a market person, market, <laughs> a marketing. Actually, that's one of the things that I showed to my students in the marketing course, uh, which is funny. I mean, I, I can actually, I have, I have some other presentation I can share. Most people think, yeah, yeah, marketing is really 
most of the time these guys go to exotic locations uh, to shoot commercials under the palms you know and it's glamorous and it's sexy and it's uh, you know um this is far from the truth so um first of all marketing is a lot of administration like any other job but uh, in marketing you do have a lot a lot of administration um of course, there are lots of meetings. So, uh, as I said, marketing is the kind of the linking pin between different departments. So, on daily basis, I speak uh, to departments like uh, engineering, uh, if you are in B2B company, uh, uh, research and development, um, um, of course, to the management, uh, of course, financials, logistics. Uh, we speak to everybody. We really have to be, from, for, to, be a, to be a good marketing person, you have to be a good communicator. In a way, it helps if you are extrovert, you know. And um, yeah, so so actually, it is um, uh, a lot of uh, meetings, a lot of uh, discussions. Um, it's also a lot of databases. So basically, a lot of our job is about market research, about uh, know, getting to know your market, and that's about collecting data and data processing. So um, I love doing models. That's one of actually my my areas of interest. So I like making uh, stuff like market potential models. I want to predict how the market is going to move. Actually, that's one of the things I'm teaching. So, so yeah, I mean, strategic forecast. Uh, strategy is also a very important and often underestimated marketing strategy, which is part of the overall company strategy. Um, so um, th there is, of course, a lot of uh, bureaucracy going on, not, uh, I mean, do not underestimate it. Um, but marketing is a diverse, diverse job. You have to be a generalist. So there's not a set personality type that would best thrive apart from... Uh, as I said, it helps. Look, there is, one, there is one feature that you do need to have, by all means. You have to be curious. You have to be curious about what's happening in the world around you. Because if you're not curious, you're never going to understand your products, your, your customers, your competitors, and so on. You have to ask questions. And you have to learn how to ask the right questions. And you have to be not afraid to ask them. Because very often in a company, they simply are afraid. Because they're saying, if things are going fine, why should we do it? So I guess it's quite important to always be involved in this field. And maybe that's what's making marketing such a transferable skill. Do you think everyone should study marketing in a, in a way, maybe? Or, yeah? Actually, actually, you're right. I mean, marketing is one of the areas from which uh, you can easily transfer to other areas. Mm. Uh, and I did that. Actually, I worked as an IT manager for a couple of years. I've also worked as a strategy manager, which was strategy and business intelligence, which was close to marketing, uh, let's say. But um, because to be good at marketing, you have to understand, as I said, it's the linking pin. So you have to understand a good amount of what is happening in the other areas. And do you have any advice for any students that want to go and study marketing? You do have to understand what is happening. So you have to understand what are the trends. Like, for example, uh, some of the major trends happening at the moment is uh, big databases, um, AI, artificial intelligence, especially, um, but also integration of systems, Internet of Things, all these kind of things. So if you understand what the trends are, you will be able to actually specialize in that area. And this will be, of course, very beneficial for your future career. To be beneficial for your future job are you should you be curious about everything that is happening in the marketing field? i would suggest that you actually need a couple of years to really learn the basics and by basics i don't mean only the gen generic marketing skills but i also mean stuff like uh, um, public speaking how to speak to people um, um, even if you if you like uh, uh, how to read project management um, <laughs> overall IT systems, which is something that uh, at the moment you cannot. Uh, so if you have a really good liberal arts college, uh, uh, this, they will give that to you. Uh, and again, 
you can decide on a very narrow speciali uh, specialization, which has the advantage that you become a real expert. But it has the disadvantage that if a, in a couple of years, this area becomes, for example, automated or becomes irrelevant. Um, just to give you an idea, um, if you speak about, uh, let's say, programming languages, uh, many people specialized in Adobe uh, Flash programming. It's not there anymore. Nobody supports it. It's, even the company doesn't support it anymore. So if you spent uh, five years uh, studying Adobe, well, bad luck. Okay. You know? so. And finally, yeah. And finally, do you have any book recommendations for us? There are some books which really can help you. Uh, how how should we say? Um, um, develop a mindset toward the world. Uh, for example, um, such a book is um, Short History of uh, Almost Everything by uh, Bill Bryson. He's a really great writer and uh, it's, a, it's a great book. I mean, if you want to learn about science and in a really entertaining way, it's, it's a great book. Um, uh, I found, of course, like many people did, uh, Yuval Harari's book, uh, Sapiens, very informative. It's a really nice book about uh, the story of humanity. So if you want to understand uh, where we come from and uh, what motivates us. Um, if you want to read about uh, branding, um, Acker, um, a Dutch uh, marketeer, has uh, a lot of uh, really nice books. Of course, the classics are Kotler, but these are the textbooks. These are the stuff that uh, that uh, the question is, if you want, because normally if you read about marketing, there is not a single book about marketing as a whole. There are, there are books uh, about uh, certain areas, like a book about uh, advertising. Uh, what was the name? Confessions of an Advertising Man, which is uh, by uh, David Ogilvy. A really nice book. There are several books which also track the uh, development of brands, but also of companies in terms of marketing. Uh, one such book is uh, Rising Tide, uh, Tide being the uh, detergent, uh, which is produced by uh, Procter & Gamble. So this book actually follows the uh, uh, Procter & Gamble story. Really interesting one, because you can see how a company can grow for uh, one and a half centuries, which is a long time. Well, thank you so much for all of your advice and the insight on marketing. It's a pleasure. Hopefully it was useful. <laughs> thank you for listening to this week's career discovery session on marketing. I hope you learned more about the field, but also about interesting anecdotes. I will see you next week with a completely different professional in a completely different field. Bye.